Rupa Hart. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And I also echo the sentiments for Frank Field, who, although his seat was elsewhere, told me on day one he was a proud Chiswickian. Um, Madam Deputy Speaker, week after week, MPs have pushed ministers to restore UK funding for UNRWA, and we've seen lives lost in Gaza all the while. The stock reply back has been that we await the Kelowna review. Well, that review was published on Monday, and yet not a peep from the government. Can we have an urgent statement on this? And now that Canada, Australia, Denmark, Finland, Sweden, Germany, France, Japan, in fact, the EU as well, have all unfrozen funding, when will we? Well, I will certainly make sure that uh, the FCDO has heard uh, the, what the Honourable Lady has said. Um, I, these matters are um, uh, taken extremely seriously, and she will know that the, uh, the Deputy uh, Foreign Secretary as well has been very concerned about making sure that there is aid and support going in uh, to support people who have been displaced and people who need uh, food, medical attention and, uh, and many other things are uh, in Gaza and, uh, and elsewhere. Um, there may be other issues as, as well as the security issues uh, that, that she referred to. UNRWA has for a long time been a very financially fragile organisation. What we want to ensure is that people who are in need, who we wish to support, uh, are getting aid and it is done in a way uh, that doesn't compromise security.